Hey everybody, welcome to my channel or welcome back to the channel. I just want to do something real quick. It's going to be a quick video on something I found in my flats. So I just want to show you how flats can, how they can mess up your image and what to look for. So we'll go right here. This one here, this was on my, the broken on 135. The only thing done here is I just removed the stars and just, just did a, uh, a quick stretch on it. And you can see like this vignetting right here. <clears throat> I've never had that issue before. And so I started thinking about it. I looked at the flats that I was using. And what happens, I used the flats when I was shooting at 2.8. And I've since then stopped it down to a, a 4. So I'm shooting at f4 now. So yeah, that's why it's like that. You might just think that it was just vignetting from something so I put the good flats same same thing so see so now there's no vignetting so these are the flats done at f4 so that's one way you can tell if you have good flats or bad flats <clears throat> now the first one so check this out this is really obvious this was the HA data on M33 and all my other data was fine. It was all all clear, no issues. So when I did the HA, I was like, why the hell does the HA look so bad? And I took new flats. These are done with new flats. So I couldn't understand why it was doing that. So I said, you know, let me try running my old flats. Because I never take my system apart. So my, my imaging train stays the same. So these are the flats that I took back in April, and everything corrected out fine. So let me show you the difference in the flats. So the master flats here. <clears throat> so this one is, let me give it a quick stretch real quick, yeah. So this is the good flat. You can see I got one, one piece of dust right there. That's about it. I usually keep all my all my stuff pretty clean that's why I never like taking it apart because I really don't have dust anywhere and if you look so it's what 0.43 so that comes out to about 20,000 or so ADU that's why I like Nina doing flats with Nina see I took these flats with the ASI Air and it does I did like the automatic flats on these ones here now if you notice, when you do a stretch on this, actually you don't have to stretch, but you see how bright it is here in the center. And it's at 51. So that's going to be like right at 30, what is it, like 32,000 ADU, which puts your histogram right in the middle. But my camera doesn't like these flats. I think it overcorrects. And you can still kind of see, I mean technically it's supposed to still work, because you can still see that dust moat right there. So they should work, but they were just too bright. Yeah. So that's what the that's what the flats that were too bright, and that's what it did. The middle of it's fine, but it's like it overcorrected the outside and just made the the outside of it too bright. Use the old flats and worked fine. See, I will see my old flat was good because you don't see that dust that dust bunny down there. It's about the only one I had in there. So that was it. So when you uh, run your stuff through WBPP or whichever, if you have an image that just doesn't look right and it's not what you're used to seeing, check your flats. Go back and run run new flats. Hopefully you haven't taken your imaging train apart. But that's why I keep the, keep the ADU down on the lower side. I know they say anywhere in the middle, but I run mine about 20,000 20, ADU. And that always worked fine. I use a 2600 mm and a 2600 MC Pro, and for both of those cameras, I run the that 20,000 on the ADU. Anyway, that's all I got. Just a quick video on some bad flats. Anyway, hope you like it. If you like this kind of content, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I mean, I know I don't do a lot of videos. I don't do any processing videos because there's tons of those out there. Kind of just show stuff that we do, you know. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.